Can you help me preach to your neighbor tonight? Tell your neighbor tonight is a night of miracles. Tell another neighbor this is a day of encounter. God is going to meet you beyond your expectation tonight. Oh yes, oh yes. Amen. I want us to <laughs> receive the presence of God in this place by shouting three hallelujahs. One to go. Oh yes. Oh yes. Glory to God in the high. Glory to God in the heart. Thank you, Father. If you can, I want to invite you to take your seat in a moment of time. As you turn in your Bible to the book of Acts chapter 26, beginning from verse number 9. Acts 26, beginning from verse number 9. I verily taught with myself that I ought to do many things contrary to the name of Jesus, which thing I also did in Jerusalem, and many of the saints did I shut up in prison, having received authority from the chief priest, and when and when they were put to death, I gave my voice against them. And I punished them oft in every synagogue and compelled them to blaspheme. And being exceedingly mad against them, I persecuted them even unto strange cities. Whereupon, I, as I went... To Damascus with authority and commission from the chief priest at midday, O king. I saw in the way a light from heaven above the brightness of the sun shining round about me and them which journeyed with me. And when we were falling to the earth, I heard a voice speaking unto me and saying in the Hebrew tongue, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? It is hard for thee to kick against the priest. And I said, who art thou, Lord? And he said, I am Jesus whom thou persecutest. But rise and stand upon thy feet. For I have appeared unto thee for this purpose. To make thee a minister and a witness. Both of these things which thou hast seen. And of those things in the which I will appear unto thee. Delivering thee from the people. And from the Gentiles. Unto whom I sent thee. To open their eyes. And to turn them from darkness to light. And from the power of Satan unto God. That they may receive forgiveness of sins and inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith in me. Whereupon, O King Agrippa, I was not disobedient unto the heavenly vision. Hallelujah. This was the first time in the history of Judaism where a militia was set up to protect the interest of that religion. And it happens to be that in the pinnacle of this new militia system was a man called Saul. And his marching orders was to persecute every Jew that had a form of worship that was contrary to Judaism. And first of all, it was a national activity. And eventually, because of the powers that came from the chief priest, 
He had the international license. He was like an Interpol kind of organization. And he had received the blessing of the chief priest to go international in bringing every stray Jew back into obedience to Judaism. And the first city that he decided to invade was Damascus. And Damascus happens to be in Syria. So it was an international mission. And the Bible says that at midday, hallelujah, somebody say midday. This is a testimony that Paul himself told. He said in the midst of the brightness of the light of the sun, he saw a light that bested the sun. And that light was so intense that he knocked him off his horseback and he found himself upon the floor. You must know that what was responsible for the audacity that the man was commanding was that he had secured letters from Jerusalem. And the letters were his backbone. The letters were his source of authority. The letters were his hope. The letters were his basis of boasting. But he met something that was superior to his letters. He met the Lord. And in his testimony about the encounter, he said that that light that came did not come from the sun. It did not come from the galaxies. It came from heaven. Now, that's the idea of the festival of glory. Bringing a native product of heaven and superimposing it upon the face of the earth. So that the natural order of things um, are recalibrated. And everything takes the position that he sustains under the authority of God. He was armed with human authority. Going to bring discipline to any Jew that he found in the vicinity. But he met with another authority that was superior to the people that gave him charge. And put him on horseback. He was the Lord. So the story of, of Saul was a migration from under the influence of the letters to a migration under the influence of the Lord. And he said it was facilitated by light that came down from heaven. Tonight, as we advance in the festival, a lot of substances will be coming from heaven. Yeah. I know you didn't hear that, but uh, in a moment of time, your doubts will be cleared. Mm, it was light he saw that came down from heaven. And the light became a canvas through which he beheld a certain personality arrayed in his full toga of majesty. And he knew that the way he appeared in that light, that he was a lord. Nobody introduced him to this majesty. That was shrouded in the eclipsing light that he beheld. He addressed him quickly. As Lord. Without any form of introduction. He says, Saul. Why do you persecute me? And he said, ah, who are you Lord? I'm not aware of who you are. But I know you are a Lord. Because he got it right. That he was interfacing with the Lord. The authority of the letters he got from Jerusalem expired. And a new agenda began for him. He was now saddled with the responsibility to turn men from darkness to light. I want to read the marching orders he received from the Lord. The letters gave him international access. But the Lord gave him destiny. Gave him an ordination. He said, but rise. Please help me tell your neighbor, but rise. God will be compelling you to rise tonight. Yes, not after the order of the way you came into this, this, this field. But after a different order. Being commissioned by the excellency of light himself. He said, but rise. And stand upon thy feet. For I have appeared unto thee for this purpose. To make thee a minister. And a witness both of the things which thou hast seen. And of those things in the which I will appear unto thee. 
a new set of marching orders superior to the marching orders that was captured in the contract that the chief priest gave him from Jerusalem was given to him on the way to Damascus. And by the time he got to Damascus, he had changed lordships, he had changed letters, he had changed marching orders. He was there no longer as a murderer of the saints of Jesus Christ, but as a minister, as a witness. Oh my God. That is what we call the festival of glory. An orchestration that comes directly from heaven. Superimposes itself upon men upon the face of the earth. And changes their channel. Adopts, captures them and domiciles them in the center of the purpose of God. That is our expectation tonight.